is kind of unique. They have undergrad research opportunities from their freshman year. So as soon as someone steps onto campus, they can get funded to do research in a lab. I've worked with students that range from freshmen to seniors doing their honors theses. And what that entails is basically I have this big overarching project on, on building a cancer diagnostic. But one of them is say, oh, and more interested in the chemistry, we'll work with them and sort of teach them the chemistry and they'll do an independent project under the umbrella of my larger project. So um, they'll work six to 10 hours a week in the lab. I've had um, an undergrad who determined a really cool way to um, order the nanoparticles. So to make them all into a neat array in a really low cost way. Working with them is kind of cool because Dartmouth students learn how to come up with ideas and design them and build them. And so it's really actually useful as a grad student to get a chance to work with them and pick their brains and, and see what direction that takes the project. It's also a matter of um, sort of knowing where they're at. So the freshmen might not have as much, you know, biology and physics experience, but they're really eager to learn. Um, and I think that there gives them a really good opportunity to see what science is like in the real world. So um, what it takes to come up with a research question and figure out how to answer it. And the undergrads are allowed to use all the equipment we have here too. So they'll get trained on, you know, a microscope that lets them see features that are one nanometer. And it's just like crazy equipment and resources that they have that they wouldn't have elsewhere. Every term I've had one or two of them working with me and it's given me a chance to work with undergrad with women specifically and sort of help them as they're trying to figure out what they want to work on. So all of that has been really rewarding.